Hello friends. Welcome back to this channel. In this session, we are going to discuss Amazon Quick Sight, a business intelligence tool provided by Amazon. In today's session, first we will see, what is Amazon Quick Sight? And then we will see, what is Amazon Quick Sight used for? So without any further ado let's get start the session. So first let's see what is Amazon Quick Sight. Amazon QuickSight is a machine learning powered business intelligence service built for the cloud under the Amazon Web Services umbrella. It enables firms to make smarter data driven decisions. It is very simple, cost effective, and user friendly cloud based business intelligence tool that allows companies to create and analyze the different kinds of data visualization. Amazon QuickSight is scalable so it can support thousands of users without additional infrastructure management or capacity planning. And it is also device agnostic. Now let's see, what is Amazon QuickSight used for? Amazon QuickSight enables companies to access and explore deeper insights in an interactive visual environment. It includes natural language query capability, so users can ask questions of their data in plain English. So what Amazon QuickSight does is, it uses different kinds of methods and programs to collect the data from different sources. And then runs query against data and creates reports. Moreover, it allows to create different kinds of dashboards and provides data visualization so that organization can make better decision. Now, when the data is presented the way the company wants it, it becomes easy for organization to make decision, which otherwise would be difficult. Now here is the major benefits of Amazon QuickSight. First, it is easy to set up and use. QuickSight requires no complex server setups, data models, or capacity planning, so users can get going quickly. Fast performance. Spice. QuickSight's in-memory calculation engine automatically replicates data for high availability while saving time, money and resources. Low total cost of ownership. With a pay-per-session model for dashboard readers or consumers, users won't incur any upfront costs for licenses. Compatible with multiple data sources. QuickSight is compatible with many sources, so users can get insights from SaaS applications, third-party databases, native AWS services, private Amazon virtual private cloud subnets, and more. Anytime, anywhere access to dashboards and visualizations. With QuickSight Mobile, users can get insights from their data on any device from any location. The mobile optimized experience includes capabilities like drill downs, filters, forecasting, email alerts and collaborative viewing and sharing. So guys, that was the theory part. Now we have arrived at fun part of the session. So let's go and create some data visualization using Amazon Quick Sight. So guys this is my AWS management console. So first here, let's search for Amazon Quick Sight. Click on it. So since I have used QuickSight before, it'll directly take me to the QuickSight home pitch. But if you're using QuickSight for first time, you'll have to link your QuickSight account with your AWS account. Once you've done that, once you've synced your AWS account with your QuickSight account will be taken to this page. So here as you can see, QuickSight provides you with a lot of sample data visualizations. So go ahead and have a look at them. You'll understand what else you can do using QuickSight. Well, if you're trying to create a data visualization of your own, then you can go ahead and click on new analysis option here. And click on new dataset. Here, as you can see, QuickSight provides you with an option where you can upload a file, or connect to databases like MySQL, SQL Server, or you can go ahead and inject data from storage services like RDS, Redshift, S3. And here on the right side, you can see the Spice engine. It provides you with 1 gigabyte free space. Now for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to upload a file. So there is this website called data.gov, where you'll find data sets on vast amount of topics, like you have climate, then you have energy, ocean, and many of the topics. So go ahead and select data set of your choice for this demo. I have already downloaded the data set I want. So let's upload a file. Here is the file. Now the file has been successfully uploaded. You can always go ahead and click on the next option, which will take you directly to the data visualization page. But but it's always better to prepare data. You can click on the edit setting and prepare data option here. 
So what is the logic behind prepare the data? So when you download the file it is possible that, there might be some columns which are unnecessary for you. For example, let's say time 2 column which I don't need. So in the left side, I am going to select this time 2, and simply click on exclude field. So now you can see that only 4 columns are displayed now. This way you can prepare your data, according to your need, you prepare your data here. Now when you click on publish and visualize here. Here on the right side you can see that it's saying, the data is being imported to this spice engine. Now it says import is successfully completed. Here you can see the columns which I have selected are displayed. And here, you can see the different kinds of data visualization types you want. Here you have KPI, gauge chart, donut chart, pie chart, and many other chart. So here I am going to select the pie chart here. And here in the group section, I am going to select review. So it is going to display a pie chart based on the review. So here we can see, we have 3.36 good, high SNR. So this way you can create different types of data visualization of your choice. And you can further customize by using more formatting option as well. I hope you understood as how to use data visualization. Be sure to try different data combination of your type to understand quick sight little better. So go ahead and download different data set and try creating different visualization. You will able to understand quick sight practically. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.